Now I'm about to make they tuck their whole summer in. They say I'm crazy while well, I'm about to go dumb again. They ain't see me cause I pulled up in my other bins. Last week I was in my other other bins. Throw your diamonds up cause we in the bitch one more game. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? You're back with another episode of Riding Shotgun. What's your main man, Dame Drops, man? I hope everybody's doing great, having a, a fresh dip day and everything. As always, yes, I'm heading to the barbershop, but that's not what today's vlog is all about. Man, listen, many of you have seen it already. I did post it the other day. Many of you will see it, but Burger King hit me up they wanted me to do a, a fresh dip ad because the chicken fries are back. Now, let's let's get one thing clear, one thing straight, one thing out the way. A lot of individuals wonder if I get paid to do food reviews. So we're gonna answer that today. That way it's forever answered and every time anybody ever asks or ever inquires about this damn get paid to do food reviews, you can put up the link to this blog. <laughs> I'ma spend the whole blog talking just about that. It's going to be short because I'm going to get right to the point. Uh, One thing that always interests me. Hold on a second. Come on, I'll put it out there. Why, why does anyone worry about how another man or woman gets their money and feeds their family if you're not the one taking care of the family? Wait, wait, let, let me ask that again. Let me ask that again because it baffles my mind. It, it pulls the wool over my eyes. I feel hoodwinked, bamboozled, let astray, stray, run amok. Let me ask one more time. Why does anyone concern themselves with how another man or woman gets their money to take care of their family? What does it matter to you? How does it affect you personally? More so if it's legal. I can see if I was out in the streets hustling. I can see if I was selling things illegally, then you could talk about it. But like, hold on, this this YouTuber is out there, you know, doing the wrong things to get his or her money, and yet they're talking positive to us, trying to be role models, quote unquote. And trust, believe I'm not trying to be nobody's role model. But it's funny to me why you take time out of your day, not you directly just the individuals that always cry about how youtubers get their money like what difference does it make what difference does it make if youtube is their full-time job or if youtube is their part-time thing thing boo thing what difference does it make that they get paid off of anything they do at the end of the day youtubers are supplying the people with content the same way an actor supplies the people with content Let's, let's do break that down one more time. You may actually believe because it's not a movie screen or a television screen that a YouTuber probably shouldn't get paid for a minute to 15 minute to hour long video. You might actually think that to yourself. Yet they're providing you with visual entertainment. Why? Why are they getting paid? Why does that make sense? And it doesn't, right? Well, at least it doesn't make sense to you, but it makes sense to the rest of us. We're providing a service. That's why we get paid. So when you ask, Dane, this looks like a paid review. Well, let me keep it funky with you. First thing first, when a company hits me up, the conversation is always the same. They're gonna watch this vlog too and they're gonna know it's always the same when you rocking with me. That's why a lot of companies do not rock with me. First thing first, no. You're not buying a good rating. So you're not gonna pay me for a food review, a food that tastes bad, a food that is extra nappy, extra nasty, and think for a second that I'm gonna tell my followers, my fan base, that is banging, and I'm gonna give it a five all day. I don't think so. That doesn't happen up off on my channel. Because if by chance you stand behind your product, you should reach out to an individual, a food titan such as myself, to help promote your product. Let's keep it real. I see a lot of commercials on TV that I do not agree with. Oh, and real quick, man, I'm gonna be real dark because it's early in the morning and the sun is all extra funky, so please don't mind the darkness. But I watch a lot of commercials on TV. I don't believe those food commercials, those fast food commercials, because 
usually eight times out of ten you have an individual that you know in real life they don't rock with it they do not eat those foods but I understand you know sex sells it is what it is you want to get a particular look a certain feel a certain appeal to the public but that's not reality either because the individuals that rock with fast food are not the individuals that are always watching those commercials so you're selling false advertisement that's what I'm saying you're selling false advertisement you come to YouTube you selling the real so at least that's what you're gonna get on my channel so if something's nasty and I'm talking about something that's butt nasty I'm gonna tell you it's butt nasty paid for or not paid for it doesn't matter to me but I think companies are slowly learning that there's a lot of companies that reached out to me to do a particular review for their their, their products and um, again, that's how the conversation goes. You're not paying for a rating, you're paying for an honest review. Do you still want me to do the review of this particular item? I'll do it. I'll put it on my channel. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not gonna give it a five or a four or a three unless it deserves a five, four or a three. That's just me, that's how I am, that's how I always will be. Now, it's crazy because I understand how that, that may damage and not damage in a major way because I'm not a major hitter in the game. You know, top three dead or alive, yes. But I'm not a major hitter in the game. I've I've changed the outlook on a few different establishments for certain things. It is what it is. And that's cool. I want to be able to provide the people with an understanding of the food that they're about to make a purchase on. Look, I don't care if it's one individual, a thousand individuals, a hundred thousand individuals, or a million. Purchasing something because... I gave it a great rating. It doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is after they make that purchase, did they feel the same way about that particular item that I felt for that particular item when I gave it a review? So no way in the world am I gonna tell you that something's a four, four and a half, or a five, and then you go there and you find out that, ooh, oh, this is mad nappy, and Damien gave it a four? Yo, I didn't get here by giving false reviews. Let me say it one more time. I didn't get here by giving false reviews. I've been getting paid for food reviews for a long time now. This is nothing new. Yes, I get paid for food reviews. Every last food review, no. But the ones that I do get paid for, I put up in my description box, sponsored by and then whatever given company sponsored that particular review. So again, let's be clear. Does Dame get paid to do food reviews? There will be food reviews that I get paid for. There will be food reviews that I do not get paid for. It depends on the promotion, what the companies feel that they need to make it happen. And there's a lot of companies, and I'm calling them out, there's a lot of companies that do not stand behind their product. Probably why they didn't reach out to your boy. And I understand that, and I appreciate that, that's cool. But I've worked with some big hitters in the game when it comes to food. So if you want Dame to do your food review, I'm telling you right now, all you gotta do is hit up bookingdame at yahoo.com. It gets no better than that, baby. So sorry for the long vlog. I just wanted to hit you guys up, let you guys know what time it is, and this is how it goes down. So until next time, I'm out of here, baby, and you've been riding shotgun with your main man, Dame. Peace. So I definitely have to remain focused if I want to keep up with my YouTube channel. Because trust and believe, without that focus,